Hello everyone, I'm Bill Davidson, great-grandson of one of the original founders, William A. Davidson. And I'm Karen Davidson, great-granddaughter of William A. Davidson. Back in 1990, Harley-Davidson introduced a new motorcycle that really surprised the world. That motorcycle was the 1990 Fat Boy. It had a presence, it had a dominance, it was fat and it was an awesome motorcycle. And let's talk about the original style points. Its signature solid wheels established the theme fat. And as Willie G, our dad, has stated, our motorcycles have always had a substantial and massive visual presence. With the wheels identifying the bike, following is a headlamp and upper fork mass. All of the pieces have to work in concert with one another. Proportion is key, and with the Fat Boy, the design has become one of our most iconic in history. Let's take a quick walk through this beautiful bike for 2021, the new Fat Boy. One of the things that you're gonna see is that this bike is brighter, it's wider, it's bigger, it has a greater dominance. And that brightness is due to the chroming that we did throughout the motorcycle. And this was a desire we were hearing from the marketplace. So we brought that answer by chroming out the bike. Starting with the front end, this massive front wheel and tire combination, 160 millimeter wide front tire with a chopped fender to expose that beautiful tire a little bit more. These chrome cover upper fork tubes, this beautiful headlight nacelle that's chromed out, the risers, and I love this piece because from a rider's perspective, you're looking down at this and all you see is attention to detail. This beautiful tank console with the bullet holes in the bottom portion of the tank console. You're sitting on top of an awesome 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 V-Twin. The ventilator cover on the air cleaner, the chrome covers on the engine, the two into two exhaust is now all chromed out. Working towards the back of the bike, these chromed out fender struts with a chopped rear fender to expose that massive 240 millimeter wide back tire. You know, this bike, when you stand back and you take a look at it from front to back, you do say, wow, what a stunning motorcycle. People have the idea that La Dolce Vita is something Italian and it means the sweet life. But living a good life, you can live it anywhere. If you're fortunate enough to do the things that you love, surrounded by good friends and family, you have it anywhere. So maybe 10 years ago, I'd taken a pause from riding and I was going through a phase in my work life that was very stressful. I started riding again, and I got on a bike on some difficult terrain where I had to pay attention, and I rode for the whole day. And at the end of that day, I realized that for the first time in a long time, I didn't think about work, I wasn't stressed, and that made me go back to bikes. The bike is confident, powerful, maybe sometimes a little arrogant, I saw all these movies when I was a kid, all these American films, and I captured all these frames in my head, and a lot of those frames have become reality. It's part of the American heritage, and it's part of the American dream. You want to interact with it. You want to be a part of it. You want to be in the movie. There's something beautiful in that. I'm very grateful about the life that I have here in America. So for me, La Dolce Vita is right here, right now. <laughs>